All right, folks, I just wasted all my breath driving for miles talking to you folks. And you're fine folks, too. But I wasn't recording. <laughs> uh, but I am now, so as soon as I get up here, I just wanted you guys to see the store here. It's the Arcota Convenience Store. And pizza parlor, and wings, and hamburgers. All right, folks, I'm going to turn you around so you can see me again. Hey, how are you all doing? Should I? No, I think I'll wait. Oh, man, hurry up. I ain't got all day. Should have went. I don't trust this truck yet. When I tell it to go, sometimes it says, nope. I do not like throttle by wire. And that's what we got here. I like throttle by cable. I think my first car, if I remember right, had throttle by cable. And my second car was a 65 Impala two-door. Beautiful looking car. That had a solid linkage between the, the foot and the carburetor. And one time, I went flying around the corner and the engine came off the engine mounts, went forward, and the throttle stuck wide open. So luckily, I know a bit how to drive, so I shut the key off. <laughs> but I ended up having to replace the radiator, fan shroud, fan, uh, one of the water hoses, transmission lines. No, I didn't. I didn't hurt the transmission lines. They didn't move. But. That was a mess. Try finding, well, you can't find 65 Impala parts now. <clears throat> but I was able to find some back in, what was that, 1982? Then after the Impala, my third car, 71 Datsun 1200, was another cable operated carburetor. It doesn't transmit so much vibration into your foot like solid, solid linkage does. I never liked that Impala with that. today just before I went up and got my chicken supplies so Jeff if you see that or, yeah that video or this video I'm ready I got a waterer I got two of the smallest chicken feeders I've ever seen because they either had a tray or they had this huge one that was like 60 bucks that probably would have fed three chickens for a year so I got two little ones and one waterer to hold a gallon and a 50 pound bag of feed, a bag of shavings. I might make a video as I set up the uh, chicken coop and then when Jeff comes out, I'll make another video of him approving my chicken coop <laughs> just before we put the chickens in. So you guys, you got to remind me that I got to make a video when Jeff's there. There's no video, it didn't happen. Police? Ain't no police around here. Must be a Paris. Paris might be big enough for the po-po. <laughs> this is 
where I, I came through here last week and I was looking at the, there's a control burn going on, there still is one now, but I was looking at that and all of a sudden right in front of me is a flagman with this big old stop sign in his hand pointed my way. <laughs> I got on the binders hard, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> He thought I was going to run right through it, which wouldn't have been a good idea because there was only one lane road up here. Good thing I got the truck all woed up because someone's out at the sheriff's house. food. I smell food. Oh, I don't know if you can see that big white house there with the H. There's another sheriff over there. Yeah, it seems like everybody that lives in Magazine is a sheriff. Which is kind of scary. And in this place, it has blue lights on the outside on 24 hours a day. A little manufactured house there with a storm shelter right next to it. And there's a little tiny house there. Looks like one bedroom, one living room, one bathroom, and one kitchen and not one inch more of anything. <laughs> Look at that pacer. Did you see that? I don't know why it went from the sheriff's house down the street to sitting right there. Oh man, this guy's probably got chicken. Hey, give me some of that. Must be holding the package open to let it cool off a bit. Or maybe to let the steam out. We made the mistake of getting tacos back there at the Dixie Chicken. And when we got home, they were all soggy. So we learned our lesson. Lucas Oil! I know where that guy parks that truck. I just showed him my NHRA hat. You guys saw me take my hat off. Wasn't necessarily <laughs> saluting Lucas Oil. Just the truck. Although, Lucas Oil products, if you see this video, you can throw me some cash. <laughs> Lucas Oil. Lucas Oil products. It works. Everything I've ever got from Lucas. Power steering treatment. Did the trick. I always buy the gallon of the uh, fuel system treatment. Uh, the oil stabilizer is really fantastic. Especially in my Ford Ranger that is a little tired. If you run 2050 in there, uh, she rattles. <laughs> I don't know if it's piston slap or bearings. I have a feeling it's bearings. It's got 288,000 miles on it. And there's all kinds of birds out. I've seen like 10 cardinals now. <laughs> 